back to another cut above with Chris. It is face shave time and I have just used Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Good Vibrations in the CK6 formula on my head and really it was exceptional. It was such a great performing lather. It was slick, the residual slickness was top, top, top draw. And the post shave, wow. I mean, it feels incredible. I haven't even put a splash or anything on yet and my skin just feels so hydrated. So I'm really, really impressed with it, the CK6 formula. Now, today's shave is going to involve two brushes, two soaps, and it goes the exact same scent, and two aftershave splashes slash colognes in the exact same scent, and it is good vibrations. So let's get stuck in. The brush for the CK6 will be my Envy Shave Abalone brush, which I just used on my head. I love this brush. I think it looks amazing and it performs really, really well. So that's what will be used for that. Now, the next one that will be getting used will be Good Vibrations once again, but this one is in the Coke and Butter formula or the labelled Coke and Butter formula. Now both soaps, and as far as I'm aware from Douglas over there, they have always had Coke and Butter in them, these soaps, but this one is just labelled Coke and Butter Shave Soap. This one is labelled CK6 formula. Now if you look at the tubs, this one, the base of the coke and butter one is clear, this one is white. I prefer the frosty clear, it looks like frosty glass, you can see the soap through it. I think it's a little bit more classy looking, I like the label, that matte effect label as well. However, this is still a nice looking tub and nice label, I just think that looks a little bit nicer. The brush for my coke and butter formula, or the, the previous base, will be my Wolf Whiskers Purple Haze. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think these knots are very, very similar, if not the same knot. I know they're both Black Wolf knots because I know that Nathan Clark gets them from Nick Peter Wolf, but these are the closest knots I could get that feel, they feel pretty much identical on my face. The actual loft of them, if you look at them there, it's almost identical, but very similar shape. I think they're the same knot. So let's get stuck in. So I'll load up my Envy Shade brush first. I was going to load them off camera, but there's always, what do you call them, conspiracy theorists that will think that that is loaded the same soap and the same in both brushes, so you know this is CK6 because it's a white tub and it says CK6 on it. One, two, ten seconds. Roughly. I mean, that, that, that's pretty close to buying on 10 seconds. So we'll do a 10 second load on both soaps. Now, it might be a little bit disadvantaged on the older formula because it is a little bit firmer. And obviously I've had that for quite a while now. It's been used quite a bit. Just rinsing the soap and getting it nice and clean. I'm trying at least. You know what I'm like. I don't like any soap residue on my soap. enough. Pop that to the side and then we'll pick up the wolf whiskers and then a 10 second load again. Let's start now. And there we go. So straight away I've noticed that this has actually foamed up more in the tub straight, that the the new base has went more sort of straight into the knot, quite gloopy, not gloopy but thick, whereas this one has actually foamed up just a little bit. And of course there might have been a little bit more water in one knot than the other, so there are variations that I, things that I can't really take into account for how much water is in the knot exactly. I mean this isn't this isn't an exact science, this is just a, a test to see how we go. So I'm going to load, oh sorry, I'm going to lather the CK6 formula on the right side of my face. This, this once again isn't going to be an exact thing. And it's not going to be easy. <laughs> right, let's just paint a little bit of water in. Now 
Now this is just a comparison video. I will be doing a video with this soap on its own as well. Whether I do that in the next shave, I don't know. It's a vegan soap base, both of them are. In fact, every soap base I believe that Douglas and Fran have made over at Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements has been vegan. Or at the least, vegetal. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to dip the brush now and just paint some water. I'm done with the lather, I'm not going to mess about with the lather too much. I just want a bit of water in here because I am shaving with a chevette today to really test out the soap and get my technique back as well. Or try and get it back because it's very, very wayward at the moment, my chevette technique or straight razor technique, whatever you want to call it. So I'm quite happy with that, I think that's wet enough. It's very, very dense and the scent is incredible. Scent on Good Vibrations is one of my favourites. So there is the brush loaded and done for the first pass with that. The CK6, now obviously, I don't know whether this is going to be at a disadvantage really because it'll be sat on my face for a while. So let's see if I can work through this as quick as I can. Oh, it's such a good scent. It really is an amazing scent. Just a little bit of water. Got to make a mess with this. I haven't shaken enough, shaken enough water out of this knot. So straight away, I'd probably say that this one is building a ladder quicker, or a more voluminous ladder quicker. I'm just going to wet this handle off once again. Definitely built a quicker ladder. Right, let's just dip the brush and just paint some water in. And I might do the same again, just on the right side of my face, just to rehydrate the lather quickly before I actually shave. Both lathers of which look phenomenal. I think that's pretty much identical, so, well not identical, but very similar sort of look and feel to what I say. I'm just going to paint this on now. Right, I'm just going to have a look. No, nope, that actually looks Really, really nice on this side still, so I'm just going to go with that. So we have the CK6 formula on this side and the old coke and butter formula on this side. They're both coke and butter, but this is CK6. This is labelled coke and butter. And here we go with the Feather ACSS, the Artist Club Stainless Steel Disposable Blade Straight Razor with a third use on a feather super professional 
what a mess I've made down here. Let's just clean that up a little touch. And here we go. Now I have had a shower this morning, but that was a, probably two hours ago. And I think, in all honesty, I think I prefer this blade. Over the wick. The wick blades are just really, 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 well the Kismet blades are really efficient. However, They should mellow out with time. Okay, so straight away I can tell you right now, this is very slick soap. And it feels great on the skin after. Now, that's a, my hand's bone dry and I can still feel there's a coating on there. If I just dip my fingers in water, straight away, slickness. Just do it up here now. And over here, still feels very, very slick. Right, left hand now. Once again, very, is that going to follow? No chance. The ladder is just a little bit dry, but still extremely slick. Got a little weep at there. I certainly feel like I'm getting my dexterity back in my left wrist now. I'm starting to get a little bit more control. Well, I think that was an excellent first pass. Well, I'm certainly very happy with it. That's the main thing. I've got one weeper just here, I think, and I think, I think that's it. I don't think I've any more weepers that I can see at the moment. The camera will probably see otherwise, but I don't think I have. I'm just going to take this big chunk off, the whole side, and then just wet my hands and just have a bit of a feel for the just like this. I would say the residual slickness feels almost, almost identical. No, I don't. It's certainly on my neck here. So this feels like my fingers are sliding down a lot smoother, a lot quicker. But it's still both excellent. I'm just going to wet my old face. Hopefully this doesn't affect the outcome. <laughs> because I'm mixing them together now. I don't think it should. Right, back to the CK6. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to finish the shave off with this DE razor with the carve.
mainly just to compare what it feels like together side by side using different razors as well, see if I can feel a difference with the glide on the razor. To be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to feel much of a difference. Right, so brush to the side. Right, straight away I'm just going to mention something now. This side of my face feels a little bit more raw. I'm actually feeling when the soap's on there, I'm feeling like it's not, I'm not having a reaction to the soap. It just feels a bit more raw, which is surprising because they were both very, very smooth passes on either side with each soap. Obviously this is my left hand, so that may have impacted it, but this does feel a little bit more raw. So let's go across the grain now with the car of Christopher Bradley razor with the A-plate. And I'm just going to keep this Wizomet blade going until it dies before I try something different. One weeper there as well. actually more here on this side as well but that, that once again I think oh I've got this slickness I can't even hold my skin now it's definitely down to the fact that I use my left hand I'm not quite as proficient with my left hand Right, so the razor to the side. I have another feeling just to see how it's going. Yeah, the, the, the residual slickness is very close. Definitely very close. They both feel really, really nice. The slickness well in use, the interest slickness is, is as good as anything really. The ladders are really, really dense. It'd just be very interesting to find once it's all rinsed off at the end and the shave is done whether I can feel a difference in the post shave, which maybe I won't. Right, cross grain other direction. Now that weeper there was there from the straight as well, so I am reasonably prone to weepers when I use a chevette or a straight razor down there. It's just the luck of the draw whether I get one or not generally, but of course there is more blood on this side than there is on this side so far.
loads and loads of residual slickness for protection for doing little just little passes like that, little touch ups. Yeah. I have to say that the residual slickness feels very similar. I was so I probably went a little bit over the top and the residual slickness feel in my head shave, but on my head it felt incredible. So I'm just gonna finish off now. See if I can You can see after three passes and moving to there, it's a very, very similar sort of look, the ladder. It looks like it's the same ladder. So they're, they're very, very similar looking. Yeah, brilliant. Let's just finish off now with the... Good old winter water is always freezing over here. I've had a few really cold wet days so the water that comes through the taps is icy cold. <laughs> it's really nice. Right, I'm just going to let that dry in a little bit and then I'll have a few. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pull the ladders out of the knots, have a look at them. So we'll have a look at the CK6. So that's what's left in the knot. Quite, it's actually in my hands there now. It's quite eerie. It's so slick. And it smells incredible. Now, one thing I will say, just out of the tubs now, the Good Vibrations, the Coke and Butter labelled formula that I have, the, the one that's in my Wolf Whiskers brush, does have a slightly less scent strength. So in terms of how much lather was left over in each brush, very, very similar. And both sort of micro bubbles in it. But both very, very slick. The scent for me is just outstanding. I absolutely love the scent. The barber shop wasn't something I was into for a long time. It really wasn't something I really went towards, they were always sort of powdery and you know, and um, I had CAD from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, I had Barrister and Man Seville, and I had a few others and I never quite just, I just didn't enjoy them. And then I picked this up or I was sent this one and I loved it and for whatever reason, every time I smell a barber shop scent now, it's just right up my alley and I really enjoy them. And of course your, your tastes and your, your nose and your brain change over time, you do smell and taste things differently as you go through. I mean, one of the major things in my life that, that I would never have thought in a million years I would drink would be, was coffee. Because it was horrible stuff when I was a kid. It was horrible stuff when I was about 23, 24. And yet here I am drinking coffee like it's going out of fashion most days. I still have a little bit of soap left in this knot. I'm just going to give it one more clean up. This is going to be time consuming fun, I think. We shall keep it all on camera. You can always fast forward. That's better. That's cleaned out now. Beautiful. Right, I'll get to the wolf whiskers. You can see there it's just melted together with the soap. That's 
I'm really bit out of shape. Do you know, in general, I don't think I've ever had any problems getting a great shape from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I think the soap base is excellent. It really is good stuff. And I have, the only one I would say was crap. I had one a long, long time ago. And it was Mesa Nectar. And it was one of those old, st st the, the tin, the actual metal tins. Still a little bit of soap left in it. But I think it went off. Something that happened to the soap itself. It was pretty old. It's a very sort of light scent on it, and I just ended up not using it. I think I test lathered it once and it just didn't smell right. The lather was okay, it wasn't great. But that you're talking pretty old formulation from Phoenix Arthur's and accoutrements back then. But as far as I'm aware, it was probably still a coke and butter formula. Or it would have had coke and butter in it at least. Right, let's have a few. CK6, older base. I can I can feel this straight away. They're very, very similar, but I can feel there's just a little bit more moisture in this side of my face. But really, if I'm brutally honest, there's not enough in these two bases for me to say yeah, buy CK6. It's just ever so slightly different. But just not enough for me to say. I mean, I think the CK6 is more expensive. However, I did notice today, when you buy CK6, I don't know whether you can read that on there, you get five ounces of soap. When you buy the Coke and Butter, or the older formula, you get four ounces of soap. So you get an extra ounce. I'm not quite sure the pricing on it, but it's just something to bear in mind. I don't know whether the, the older formula is done in five ounce tubs now. It's not the exact same, I'm not sure. but. To be honest with you, it was a great, great shave. And the post shave, there's not enough in it for me to say one is better than the other, really. That it's ever so slightly this side, but just not enough for me. Now this is going to be interesting. I want to see what these feel like. I want to see if these feel different because the the old splash gives me a really long burn. So I'm going to start off with the in fact I'll start with the old splash first. So the old splash comes in this tight bottle. It has got 3.5 ounces of splash in there as you can see down here and well, there's a the price on the back as well this was sent to me so this was sent to me from IV Chapel as well or well, Alex Kaplan top 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 bloke and I'm so glad he sent me because I would never have picked this one in a million years and it sent me down the, the barbershop route so I'm gonna oh, it's just incredible so I'm just gonna cut a little splash on this side and then I'm gonna um, let me just Roll it around my hand because I don't want to put it on this hand. I want to keep keep this hand fresh. There we go. Well, very minimal burn. In fact, there's hardly any burn if I'm honest. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I remember I rem remember this stuff burning quite a bit. It might still burn now. I don't know. Yeah, I feel it. There it comes. It's coming now. Like a a warming. It's not like a an intense burn, like a really strong mentally aftershave. It's like a, it just slowly warms up and it gets to a heat that's just bearable for me. It just gets to the point where it's about to go beyond that bearable threshold of pain sort of thing. It's not a pain, but it's hard to explain. But it is there and it's, I do feel it, I can feel it. Now, this doesn't list menthol in here. And Doug, as far as I'm aware, Douglas says there's no menthol in it. I can feel menthol, I can I can even feel it in my eyes, so I don't know whether there is actually menthol in there or not, but I can feel it. Now, this is the latest bottle, I much prefer the look of the bottle, it's tough, tough glass, it's got Phoenix shaving actually on the glass, they've, they've just went that extra mile with these bottles. I love the labels, they're, they're all waterproof, but they're like matte finish, similar to the label on the old soap. Just the, the vintage but modern the classy and classic at the same time. They're really, really nice. And I think they put, even the noise, it sounds like so. I just want to show you. In this one, you've got a plastic top and you've got plastic restrictor and it feels like plastic. Now, this is obviously still plastic. Or it could be Bakelite, I'm not sure. But when you open it, you get that noise like, a, like when you open up a bottle of tobacco aftershave. 
a sort of baker light on glass sound. It's, it's actually quite a nice sound. It, it does sound sounds vintage. And just the sound of it, I don't I don't know why, but it does. The scent is identical, so you're getting the same thing, no matter what you buy, you get the same thing. I'm not sure whether they still sell the old splash, but I'm pretty sure you can still buy the old soap. But let's just go, pop some of this on my right hand. Oh, that's too much. Okay, the restrictor on this isn't isn't the best. <laughs> that just poured out. Jesus, I've got far too much here. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Here it goes. Right. <sighs> Straight away. This feels like it's got more alcohol in it. <laughs> This is definitely smells different. This is just stronger, I think. I think that, in all honesty, I think that's what it is. This actually smells like it's a stronger scented Porsche splash. I can smell, believe it or not, I can actually smell, there is rose water in here I'm sure, just let me double check that. There is, rose water, I can smell it. I can smell the rose water in here, but I can't smell it in this one. And this is a lot stronger, a lot stronger in scent. Um. Yeah, the to be honest with you, they feel pretty much identical. The initial burn from the latest formula of Splash was a bit more, it smelled like there was, it smelled like there was more alcohol in there. Post shave with the Splash goes, goes quite far this way. This feels great, this feels better and the ingredients are pretty much identical so I don't know how he's tweaked them in there or whether he has tweaked them and it's just placebo effect. But this feels like there's a little bit more happening over here. There's just a little bit more of a moisturising sort of effect on this side. I can definitely feel it. I don't know whether... Yeah, I can definitely feel it. Yeah. But, wow. <laughs> I enjoyed that. What we have? Jesus Christ. 32 minutes, well 33, I'm about 39 by the time I'm finished. But these ones take a little bit longer because I'm having to look at two products and lather two products and you know and talk about them individually, even though they're the same similar sort of thing. But we have CK6 formula and the older coke and butter formula. They are both coke and butter formulas. This is just the latest version, the CK6. It's definitely stronger, but it could be because it's newer. The labels are almost identical. The difference being is that that one's got a few water droplets on it. This one doesn't have the weight down here, whereas the older one has got four ounces on here. But the labels are pretty much the same. This one, uh, no, they're, they're identical. Even the colours are pretty much identical from what I can see. So. Labelling tubs, everything are all the same other than the plastic or the clear plastic on this tub, which I actually prefer over the white tubs. But other than that, five ounces of soap in the new formula, four ounces in the old formula. The brushes for today, CK6 for the Envy Shave and the Coke and Butter or the older formula with the wolf whiskers, I think with the same knot. So it was as close to a, even and fair comparisons I could possibly give, I think. 10 second load on both soaps, they both lathered up really easy. I think the older formula lathered up quicker, but in the end, the lather density and slickness and everything else was pretty much identical. They were very, very close. The razors today started off with the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel Disposable Blade Straight Razor, and then finished off with the best razor on the market, for me at least, the Carve Christopher Bradley Razor and Stainless Steel with the A-plate, which I think is point something, point. 0.58 blade gap or something, I'm not sure. I should really know this stuff because I use them all the time and I, I love the razors, but I don't pay attention to the little details sometimes, I just get stuck in. And I've got a Wizomet Super Iridium blade in there and it's just a great blade, it really is fantastic. Finished off today with the splashes, the newer splash here and the older splash here. They are slightly different, this one has alum, this one does not. 
I did it in that, I think they're almost identical. Now, I honestly believe there's menthol in here. I can, I'm pretty sure I can feel the exact same thing as I get from this one. However, the bare bones of it, this side feels better now after the splash. Before the splash, very similar. After the splash, I've got to give it to the newer formula of splash. I don't know what he's done with it. It does feel like he's just tweaked things a little bit. It's the same stuff that's in it, but sometimes just giving a little bit more of something and taking something else away. It could be the rose water. I don't know whether that would make any difference, but it's definitely stronger. It's way, way stronger. I mean, it's like, and this is strong, but that's a lot stronger. <laughs> like this is, this is about an eight or a nine in scent strength. This is about a seven, seven going, pushing an eight maybe. That's quite significant. And they are slightly different in scent. The newer one definitely smells stronger, but I do get a little bit more of that rose water scent. But it is still a, just a sensational, a sensational scent. And I am at 36 minutes and 13 seconds and I've had an absolutely wonderful shave and I'm really happy with the head and face today. I think the finished product's great. Got a couple of little weepers and a little red spots, but they will clear up on their own, I can assure you. And with that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.